This facility is an outdoor decomposition laboratory. Basically what it is is it allows us to study the processes of, of time since death and the postmortem interval using donated human remains. It's one of only two working research uh, properties in the world that utilize human remains for this kind of decomposition research. What we end up learning at this research facility is information that we want to pass on to law enforcement, to medical legal examiners, to anybody that's involved in the investigation of human remains, especially in outdoor contexts like this, or where questions have come about regarding you know, decomposition time frames, uh, anything that can help narrow down identity or cause or manner of death is helpful in an investigation. And so that's the purpose of this property. We got this motion sensing camera, we uh, placed the donor body into this research project, and we just went ahead and observed to see what happened. And once we realized it was vultures, and we were able to study and kind of analyze the kinds of impacts they had to the body, how they messed up really the time since death interval, we realized this is very important, especially for places that have active vulture communities. Because, you know, if a law enforcement officer or a medical legal examiner comes upon a body out in the middle of a field and it's skeletonized, they might think that body has been there months, potentially, when in actuality it might just be days or a week. So it's really our role to try to figure out how to better analyze what we see in terms of the body, the time since death, and all of that plays into things like, you know, establishing identity of the person, or uh, perhaps ruling in or ruling out suspects depending on time frames. The vultures really do monkey with that. You know, they really do destroy that normal sequence uh, with their scavenging activities.